so just scrying the aether of Utai. And I'm just going to note that I am feeling some energy coming up off of the leaves of both books that I'm employing right now. So I'm seeing, it's like it's this lazy kind of whirling, kind of going, I mean, it sort of could look like this, but it's more like it's, how about this? I'll call it a, a curved descent that follows a V-shape. So I am seeing a little bit of a conical X, but really it's more of just this lazy descent. And what I'm being told is that the, the other thing I'm doing energetically is I am actively visualizing <clears throat> the symbol given to me in Zach's just kind of as a precaution preventative, but making sure that it's very much infused with, with loving kindness and non-duality. And what I'm seeing is this, uh, this lazy curving line. It's sort of hitting me. It's like I'm seeing a lot of brightness now. And um, it's like it's kind of coming right through down all the way through my chakras. So just as a note, um, again, really keeping the, the greatest commandment and the, the second greatest commandment, even actively sort of having that as your intent as you're doing this sort of scrying, um, it does have an effect. It's, it's very palpable. Um, and I'm sort of, so this is touching on the, um, the vision I had at noon today, uh, where uh, there were these geometric figures in 4D that came together to create a 12 chakra system. And so this is in line with that. And pardon the pun, but it is like a straight line coming right down. And I'm just feeling my entire energy body sort of coming online, as it were, um, in a more profound, but also like smoother way. Um, I don't recall Jebbafal being this smooth. Anyway, I'm feeling uh, a little bit of Kundalini rising up my spine and just kind of coming back up to meet it. And there's this really nice loop between heaven and of course me here on earth. And it's as if the angels want to say something so I'll work on setting aside myself to see what it is they wish to say. Um, and it's essentially uh, no more fear, impediments, uh, being... No more fear, impediments removed, continue straight away. and allow this to unfold. So, so this is the message and I am looking around and it's like I'm seeing this vast field and a lot of, it's like a lot of trees are coming up in it. And um, everything is sort of getting very lush and it's as if, um, I'm seeing a little bit of the Daughter of Fortitude, Curly called her Babylon, but the Daughter of Fortitude kind of coming in really much in that same kind of crystalline shape that she first appeared to me in, but sort of taking on much more of this, um, this very colorful presentation. So it is an earlier aether for this to happen. Almost always this happens during zip. Um, but I think this the nature of this ritual is very much um, compressing a lot of the aethers together into one. And she has above her, like it's this sphere of the divine um, that I usually will only see in Lil. Uh, I'll start seeing stellated versions of that in some of the preceding aethers. But really, this it's a sphere when... It, it, here it's a sphere. And it's above her. It's almost as if it's crowned above her and she's like just issuing forth like all of these blessings to 
this very lush field that I'm in. And so it's here, it's, it's almost as if it's literally a crowned with understanding. And um, I'll need to double check the Enochian to see if that's a thing or if that's a word. Otherwise, I would assume it's just something like momeomp, something like that. Um, and just really focusing in on this, I, I sort of rise up to meet her. I'm sort of seeing Lil directly in front of me, and they're they're just trying to re-emphasize the governors here that there will be this will just be a big rotation. It's like I'm kind of going through a wash cycle energetically, a lot of different levels. And so um, I'm trying to see what else. They're telling me not to worry about anything that happened during the original transmission. That will not happen to me. Specifically, I'm thinking of um, D when he, or uh, Edward Kelly when he was reading off one of the leaves and some gnomes came and attacked him. I'm not getting that sense at all. Um, rather that... Um, it's it has to do partly with the co-presence of the um, book of silvered leaves as well as the sign in which all of this is taking place the uh, the astrology that's going on so by the time we get to that leaf so I'm looking uh, a little bit more at this field and it's like uh, the daughter of fortitude is looking on fondly at her handiwork and that there's more it's like there will be a very big tree coming up so this is reminding me of the tree of life and the tree of garden of good and evil and really what this is is it's like um this is sort of the if the tower of the ba of babel is the shadow this is the tower of this is like the the light side of that. It's this big tree goes all the way up into the heavens and it fuses and connects uh, the sphere of Lil uh, with uh, Tex and of course with Earth itself. And there's a lot of harmony. I'm sort of reminded of that scene at the end of Loki season two where Loki is sitting there and he behind him, about him, is this big tree of all the timelines. Uh, but there is that sense of majesty um, and wholeness and mercy upon the earth as a result of this. So I don't know if it's uh, for me in particular, and there's a little bit of a yes to that, definitely. Um, but also, um, I'm just looking down and and it's like a lot of what I'm seeing on Earth is obscured to me. So, and I'm trying to just really maintain my focus. I kind of slipped a little bit in my concentration. Concentration being the great way to disperse abyssal energies. Um, and just really focusing on that symbol again. And it's like... Um, and it feels as if I'm like literally pulling in the universe or space or space time or whatever. It's like I'm wrapping it around me like a garland. And this kind of makes sense because this is, this was definitely the sense that I got when I was doing Jebbafall. It was maybe like a lower order of that, where it's like you're reconciling your yourself with the entire universe. And now this seems to be happening again. And, um, and it's beautiful. So I'm asking the angels if there's anything else. And they say, nope. So thus ends the vision. <laughs>